How's it going guys? It's Python Selkin here, and we're finally one step closer to God of War Ragnarok, with a brand new trailer, finally confirming the release date of November 9th, later this year. Now, very much like a TV spot, this father and son trailer is quite a short one, but it definitely had some interesting things to talk about. So, let's dive right into the subject. The very first shot instantly shows us a pair of ravens heading towards the battles of Kratos and Atreus. In Norse mythology, Hugin and Munin are two ravens that are constantly flying over the world, as they bring information to Odin. Now we know the Allfather has been watching Kratos for some time, so these pair of ravens are potentially another sign of the symbolism. Two ravens can also be seen in the previous trailer for God of War Ragnarok, as Mimir describes Odin and his tricks. Odin's got tricks up his sleeve we haven't dared to consider. Moving on, we see Kratos and Atreus fighting a group of enemies in a snowy environment, with the snow of course being caused by Fimbul Winter, prelude to the events of Ragnarok, which starts soon after Baldur's death. Falling into a darker location, Kratos and Atreus continue to battle even more enemies, this time who appear to have glowing features, similar to some of the enemies found in Helheim, and who are also equipped with shields and swords. We can then see a large beast approaching, as its leg can be seen stepping into frame, and what seem to be remnants of a chain attached to its leg that could have been holding this beast in captivity. This large creature is none other than the great wolf Fenrir, and according to Norse mythology, he is actually the son of Loki and the giantess Angraboda, whom we also see at the end of the previous trailer. In God of War lore, this makes Fenrir the future son of Atreus, making him Kratos' grandson, and is also the brother of Jormungandr, the giant serpent in 2018's God of War. The fact that Fenrir seems to be going up against his own family is mysterious to say the least, so we'll have to see how this battle turns out and whether there's some Odin manipulation at play. What's certain is that time travel should be playing an important role in God of War Ragnarok, being that Loki is still young and his sons Fenrir and Jormungandr already exist. They once made an unbreakable chain out of little more than a cat's footstep and bird spit. That doesn't even make sense. In 2018's God of War, Mimir also mentions that dwarves had already made the unbreakable chain known as Gleipnir that was purposely created to hold Fenrir which led Tyr to lose his arm. And even though this chain was said to have been created already, the Tyr we see in the trailer still has both of his arms. According to Norse mythology, it is said that Fenrir eventually breaks free of his chains and manages to kill Odin. It is for this reason that Odin fears the events of Ragnarok and constantly attempts to change his fate in God of War. For the last detail, even though this trailer is called Father and Son, with fans assuming this is referring to Kratos and Atreus, this title could potentially be referring to another father and son in the same scene, being Loki and his son Fenrir. With that, what are your thoughts on all this? Do you look forward to seeing Fenrir and Loki's story arc in the next God of War? And what were your discoveries from the new Ragnarok trailer? Let us know your thoughts and theories in the comment section down below. Meanwhile, if you liked this video and enjoy all things God of War, hit that like button and make sure to subscribe to our channel. We'll make sure to return a favor with content you won't find anywhere else. Thank you all for watching. Until we meet again, Spartans. Python and Selkin. Out.